Hi, I'm Jason Hoffman, owner of 203 Pet Service, and this is Brew. Today, I'm going to give Brew a bath and teach you how to strip a Spinoni. Brew's 11 months old and she's never been stripped. So, as you can see, she's got a lot of hair on the top of her head. She's got a lot of hair on her ears. She's got some hair that can be stripped on her body, which we'll do later. She's got a pretty good amount of hair on her legs, and we're going to try to just make it so she's not quite so fuzzy. I'm going to start off by washing Brew's ears, and I'm going to use a little ear cleaner, and I'm just going to use some paper towels to uh, clean up some of the goop. So give this a little shake, and we're going to flip her ear up a little bit. She's going to want to shake her head, a little squeeze, and then we want to massage it in her ear, and we want to hear that squishy noise. After we've done that, we're going to take our piece of towel. You can let her shake as well. Um, and we're just going to stick our finger in her ear and canal, and we're just going to try to see if we can get any waxy debris. To give Brew a bath, I'm going to use this Almond Crisp soap. It's designed specifically for uh, dogs with harsh coats or hard coats. And uh, I found that on, on Amazon, and there's a couple of other brands on there as well. That has a nice kind of a nice smell, which I like. What I've already done is I've added the soap into this foam cannon. I got this foam cannon at an auto supply store. It's going to apply and mix the soap with the water, so it's going to save me a step when I start to wash the dog. If you don't have this, uh, you can apply the soap on the dog or you can mix it 32 to 1 and you can apply it in two different steps, but I like to use a foam cannon. So we're just going to start to, to water her down and I know, brew. The nice thing about using this foam cannon is that when you have it on the mist setting, you can really kind of get some of the areas by your dog's face, cover its eyes, and you can kind of get it on the hair and get it wet and soapy without really getting it in or, you know, in the eyes. So now I'm going to turn my foam cannon on to water, and I'm just going to rinse her off. So now we're just going to dry her off a little bit. When you use the shampoo for the harsh coats, it just seems like the water just kind of rolls off them. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the tools that we're going to use uh, for the stripping and the grooming of the Spinoni. We'll start off with our stripping knives and our stripping stones. And when we start to do our groom, I like to start off with these metal stripping stones. They are designed so will actually help me to pull the hair out without having to have to cut the hair out. And there's a couple of different sizes here that we'll use as we kind of move on with a groom. After we use the stripping stones, I like to try to use some of these stone stripping stones. They'll get a different course of hair. And then we'll kind of finish up with these stripping knives. And it's important when you have a stripping knife that it's a good stripping knife and it's not sharp. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't cut the hair or cut your dog and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have the hair up we're going to put our thumb down and we're going to pull with the grain and that will help pull the hair out these stripping knives come in different sizes from very coarse to extra fine and uh, a couple of the other tools that we're going to use today is i like to use the mars king coats stripping tools this is 18 teeth on this this is a 10 tooth blade and those will kind of pull the hair out without really cutting it, but it will help kind of remove some of any of the mats that might be matted in the fur. We're going to use a few different types of combs. Uh, I, we're going to use everything from a wide tooth comb to a fine tooth comb. And then we have two types of brushes that we're going to use. A boar's hair brush, uh, and this is just kind of a wide tooth brush. And that'll just kind of help us get our, our, our hair in the right direction. The scissors which if we have to use, we'll use last. I use two types of scissors. I have a pair of thinning shears. 
which will just kind of thin the coat out if we have to use it and we have a regular pair of shears. Uh, I only like to use these shears kind of in between their pads, sometimes by their genitals, uh, in places that are just a little bit too tender to actually strip out. Uh, but we try to avoid using, sh using scissors at all costs when we're grooming a Spinoni because it's not good for their coat. When we're gonna get ready to strip her, we just wanna make sure that the hair is going more or less in the right direction. And if you don't have tools, um, you can strip a dog with your hands and basically you're just going to grab the hair and pull in the direction of the way the hair is growing. We have tools, so we're not gonna do a hand strip. So once you have basically the hair moving in the right direction, we can start off with this Mars King coat and we can just go through the hair and this will just kind of quickly get a lot of the hair just strip it right out really quick and this will save us a little bit a little bit of time and the nice thing about this tool is that if we have any knots in the hair this will tease them out and cut them out i use a smaller knife blade um, just to kind of get on the legs in the smaller areas so that's why we use two different sizes so this can get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. So now we're gonna start using the stripping stones. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna put our hand under the hair with a stone on top of it, and we're just gonna let the weight of the stripping stone pull the dead hairs out of the hair follicles. So when you're stripping a Spinoni, you wanna to try to keep the hair tight on the top of her head, and you wanna to try to keep the hair on the side of their face to be uh, blended into the beard what you're going to do is you're going to blend the hair by the side of the ear down into the chest and you're just going to try to get that blended and looking nice. You're also going to want to go and strip the hair on the ears as well. I've worked on the other side a little bit. If you can turn this way and you can see how the hair is a lot closer to the head and I'm starting to blend into the side. It's important when you strip out the hair of the Spinoni that you don't cut it. Inside the hair follicle, there's a pocket of air. And when you cut that, it opens that up and it makes it really difficult to strip the hair out in the future. That makes it painful for your dog. So that's why we strip and we don't cut. When you are stripping out the Spinoni, I recommend that you don't get fixated on one specific area and you just kind of rotate spots. Otherwise what happens is you focus in on one area and then you kind of go a little bit too far. So you strip a little bit, you take a look at it, you move somewhere else, and then you come back to the spot. So that way, it just makes the coat kind of look a little more even. When you strip the hair with a stripping knife, it's important that you notice that the hair isn't cut here. You can still see, it just helps me grab the hair. So we're not cutting the hair, and when we do this, the technique that you want is you want to keep your wrist straight and you're going to pluck the hair and you're going to pull it. You're not using your wrist to, so you're not going like this. If you go like that, there's more of a chance that you're going to cut the hair. So we're going to keep our hand straight and just move it straight down. Not using our wrist, just using kind of our elbow movement. We've spent a couple of hours stripping down brew. Uh, it's a big job and we're almost done, we're wrapping up here. Uh, I like to tell people it's uh, little and often, and if you make it a routine, it's gonna be a much easier job instead of a big job. For 203 Pet Service, I'm Jason Hoffman. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, comment, and subscribe.